Okay guys, so this is just going to be a um, follow-on from the uh, character base model videos that we did recently. Um, so how we can turn uh, just like a base model, like a base mesh, into something that's a bit more characterized, I suppose. Um, I can see an example I've kind of done here. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how I got this result, essentially. And obviously you can change this. Once you've got that base mesh down, you can kind of create whatever clothing or accessories or whatever you want to create for your character to turn them into whatever it is you want to turn them into. Um, so I'm just going to turn that back to standard, get my edged faces on. So what I can actually do is just make a duplicate of the base character mesh, which was this. Okay, so this is the result if you'd done that previous video that you'd end up with, just your base character mesh. And this is what you can kind of use to turn into um, whatever it is that you want. Um, you'll see that I've improved the uh, hand model there. Um, as I think I said before in the last videos, um, a hand is something that if you create one good hand, you can then kind of use that hand on your fu all future models, which is what I like to do. So I've implemented that hand back into this one. Anyway, so yeah, you can see the clothing that I've created for this character. So I've got this piece here, which is like this jacket. You can see it's an actual separate model. Okay, um, I can move them all over. There's this kind of top here. Again, is another separate piece. These kind of trousers, this belt piece, they're all separate pieces. Okay, now I've kind of finished this off with this um, sword model here. Okay, which I've just had got kind of floating there on the back, but of course you could uh, implement in something for it to sit in. Okay, so how did I get this result? So what you want to do is, uh, let's get rid of the UW map for now, don't need that. Uh, go into the polygons and you want to select the polygons uh, where you want the uh, clothing that you want to create to be. So if we start with this kind of top that I did here, so... Um, oh, Wrong selection type, just change it to that. So I can select this bunch of polygons here, hold control to select more of them, and just want to select all of the polygons where this would be. So down to there, down to there, underneath here. Don't think I need it. Uh, in fact, yeah, I do want it on those ones as well. Uh, in fact, let's get those two. More of a long sleeve thing. Okay, there we go. So I've got the polygons where that top is going to be, essentially. And what I'm going to now do is detach this, not completely detach from the model, but detach it as its own separate model. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to detach. And what I want to do is detach it as a clone. Okay, so it's going to detach those polygons and create it into its own separate model. Push OK, drop to editable poly there, and now I can select this and see it's now created that as its own separate piece, essentially. OK. And then what I'm going to do, to undo that so it stays in place, is I'm going to add a modifier directly onto this. The modifier is called shell. OK, there we go, add shell. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to up this outer amount to about, should we say three, so you can see it properly. And see what shell does, it gives it kind of a, a thickness, okay? So without shell, if I just hide that, it's just one polygon thick, you know, and it has no depth to it. With the shell on, it actually creates some thickness to it. Okay, so it's a really useful modifier for that type of thing. Okay, what I can then do is go to my material editor uh, and you can see I've got a bunch of different materials. So if I wanted this material, I can apply it to that model. There you go. Okay. Um, what I can now do, so if you see what I did with this one is I kind of flared up the sleeves a little bit, um, moved it around, a, around the neck and some things like that. So you can just come in to modify the vertices. And what you can also do, if you need to re-delete half of this and reapply symmetry again, um, you can do but I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. Um, like we did before, I'm going to turn on this show end result thing here. Okay, or I can flick between it because I need to select this guy. Turn that back on, and then you can see you can move the vertices around. Okay. Okay. 
and as usual I'm just going to do a kind of a quick one you can spend more time on yours so kind of remove it from the neck a little bit um, I think with these sleeves here I just grabbed the vertices at the end and I literally just used my scale tool let's go like that okay same for this side just to kind of flare those up a little bit okay um, and then whatever else is you want to do you could add things onto this you could cut in detailing into this however whatever you wanted to do to customize it you can do okay so same thing let's do the kind of trousers if you like so let's go to polygon trousers are going to be all of these down to about there okay so again i'm going to hit detach detach it as a clone push ok that is now its own separate piece you'll see that the gizmo for it goes back to the original location of um, the original the, the mesh for the whole character if you want to change that you can do effect pivot only and center it to this object uh, to make things easier for you should you wish to but I don't really need to move it because I want to keep it in place uh, and then again let's add that shell modifier okay it's remembered the previous amount that I had which was three okay so it's added those let's apply a different material to it I think I used this one yep looks about right from what I did before so again what I've done here is I kind of made it kind of a go out and then in at the bottom of the trousers there so what I did is I had to add another connection line between there so I selected all of those did connect shifted that down to about there let's repeat that for the other side okay show my end result there and then I again I use my scale tool here just to scale those bits up same with that side and then maybe do the same with these as well okay so this is obviously just doing minimal changes um, like just something simple but you could add a lot more detail into the stuff that you're doing here okay and then the same thing what I did is I got the polygons where that kind of belt area is just to separate something between those two items there um, and then with the jacket um, you can see I it's just done the same thing um, but I've just extended it a bit okay you could do like some kind of shoe or something again you go to polygon um, let's say it's like a boot so I can select all of that area detach that that's fine and then add the shell modifier Okay, maybe you want to add that a bit more if it's a boot you want to do something a bit chunky. There we go. Let's put a different material on it. Purple, why not? Okay, and then of course you can just continue then to just do whatever it is that you need to do um, to your own kind of design. Okay, but I won't go too into it. Um, you know, if you want to add something um, over the top here, you can again just modify this new shape that you have here. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but <laughs> making something up. But you get the idea, okay? Um, and then you've got a kind of a boot there. Okay, so same thing if you want to put like a hat or something anything that you want to do essentially you can just that's a nice quick way of creating uh, clothing from the base mesh that you originally had and then once you've got that kind of shape that you've got for the items of clothing or whatever it is um, you can then customize those in whichever way you want to okay let's turn those edge faces back off and there we go okay another thing I might just show you so you can see that with my model I've gone for this like proper like low poly style where you can actually see every individual kind of polygon 
Um, I think that works quite well. And that is down to these things called smoothing groups. OK, so if, for example, I selected all of these smoothing groups for the head like that and I applied a smoothing group to it, it's like I push one. You can see what that's done there. It's kind of hides the shape of the polygon. So it tries to smooth it out. OK, personally, I think that looks worse. OK, and sometimes these smoothing groups will apply themselves. It kind of does it automatically. So if you ever have that issue and you you, you want it have to go more onto this kind of style, then you just select all of your polygons. So if I go Control A, it will select all the polygons for that model. And I can clear all those smoothing groups. So click Clear All. And then it gets rid of that. OK, so if you want that kind of traditional low poly style, then you can clear those smoothing groups. OK, um, and again, I showed this before, but I'll show it again. Um, this Sinti store. So these guys do this low poly effect really, really well, better than anyone I've, I've seen do it, to be fair. And you can see kind of the kind of style you can get from this kind of low poly look. Um, I haven't added any like faces onto mine, um, but you can see in the way that these guys do it, it's just from, you know, you could just get your box tool, turn auto grid on and just draw these shapes to the surface and then again just customize them in the same way that we've been doing already okay so i hope that helps with kind of turning this base character mesh into your own uh concepts and um yeah i think that's all for now